Hey there everybody, your old friend Razmi is back, and I've got a review for you. The Last Airbender, which is based on my all-time favorite animated series, Avatar The Last Airbender. If you haven't seen that show yet, seriously, go out and pick up some DVDs. You're in for a treat. Now, the gist of this story is, long ago in a mystic land, there were four magical kingdoms, each with their own magical style of kung fu. Earth, wind, fire, water, heart. Scratch that last one. So one day, the Fire Nation gets all uppity and decides to take over the world. And they wipe out all of the airbenders. Poor guys. Never saw it coming. Except for one. The last airbender escapes and is frozen in an iceberg for a hundred years. Not only is he the last airbender, but he is also the Avatar. The reincarnated super kung fu action savior of the world who not only can bend air, but all the other elements at once. He's sort of like a nuclear deterrence of the world. Well, anyway, he gets unfrozen and decides, you know what? The Fire Nation's taken over the world. I'm gonna stop that by mastering all the martial arts in the world and kicking ass. Now, the premise sounds good. And really, when I found out that this was gonna be made into a movie based on my favorite TV show, I was expecting diarrhea combined with a trip to the dentist. And you know what? being directed by M. Night Shyamalan. Surprise, surprise. It wasn't that bad. I mean, don't get me wrong. The acting is horrible, especially for the kids. And the editing, for some reason, is just really amateur and awkward. Like, they don't know how to establish setting shots. They just go, hey, we're here. How did you get here? Um, okay. But all in all, there were some things I did like. The sets and the special effects are pretty nice. I mean, it's kind of like a fishbowl. If you turn the sound off and put it in the background, it's kind of pretty to look at. And the costumes were pretty cool too, I'll give them that. And I even kind of liked some of the fight scenes, especially the blue spirit scene. Dude, that scene was awesome. It was like the Predator mixed with Batman. Sick. But, like I said, terrible acting, especially from kids trying to give these big rousing speeches and the power of hope and believing and destiny and all that crap. Yeah, they're trying to be Henry V and they come off like a crappy high school play. So, okay to look at, but not really that great. I'm gonna give The Last Airbender a low rental. Not the worst movie I've seen all year, or, but still, this could have been a lot better. If you absolutely have to see this, just go wait for the DVD and rent it. But definitely what you should do is go watch the TV show, because the TV show is ten times better. <sighs> also, there was one, th one more thing while I'm here. What was with changing the main character's name from Avatar Aang to Havatar Ong. Ong? What is he from Hong Kong? Likes to sing a song about how Tai Lee looks good in a thong? Well, if you excuse me, I need to go take a hit on my bong. Just kidding. Later.